worry, you worry me sometimes. <laughs> you worry me sometimes. I thought it was Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. That's great news. All right. <laughs> Halfway through the week. Oh, yeah. oh, brilliant. And do you know what? Today, it is all about the cheese toasty. Now, apparently, mm -hmm. this uh, humble snack has been causing quite a stir with everyone from TV foodies to Michelin star chefs wading in on the debate as to what makes the perfect mm -hmm. one. So, uh, Holly and I decided to get involved and bring our packed lunches in today. Uh, so, uh, shall I have a taste of yours? Oh, yes, please do. Please do. Have a taste please of do. I, um, I, we all have our own recipes for what makes the perfect cheese toasty and how it's cooked and what cheese you use and what you put in it. Well, I have a taste of mine. All right, I'll have a taste of yours. Oh, what is in that? <laughs> Don't watch Stilton in it. Yeah. Well, that's a bit filthy. <laughs> what are you doing sneaking Stilton into a toasty? <laughs> Mature cheddar, a little bit of Stilton, and oh. Worcester sauce. Gosh, that's quite strong for breakfast. What's mine, yours? mine is a very special plastic cheese. Mm -hmm. You know the ones you get out of the wrapper, yep. so it melts properly, and just ham in a in a proper toasty maker, so that the edges go hard around that's, the edge. That's right. Yeah, so that's in a toasty maker. I've just done. Mine what did you think? The, under the grill. I liked it actually. A little bit plastic for me, but I liked but it's it. It's quite good. And yeah. on white bread. Yeah. I mean, it's naughty. It's, it's white treat bread as well. food. So, uh, should we get a second opinion? Yes, let's get an expert opinion. Don't you look at me like that, Phil Vickery. Hey, hey. I'm on your side. Are you? Yes, yes, I'm on your side. Sorry, Phil. Sorry. It, three things. Mm. How you cook it. Right. Toasty, oven, or grill, whatever, mm -hmm. or a frying pan. Second is the cheese. Yeah. Certainly the cheese. And I have to agree with Holly. Plastic cheese that. is pretty good, yeah. Look at that. And Look at that melt. Look at that and melt. I am putting, I'm bread. toasting for all British <laughs> cheese makers. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I'm I understand not. that. No, no. It's a combination of two cheeses and the bread as well. Mm. That's all, two cheeses. It is. However, yeah. What's all, the will sauce? Be all will be revealed later. What's the sauce? Yeah, OK. I'll give you that bit. God, you're so picky. <laughs> Don't think I want to do the item now. <laughs> we'll taste uh, the experts' toasty. Oh, we'd love to know yours as well. Send us a picture if you're having a toasty today. One group of ladies who I'm sure would uh, make a pretty perfect cheese toasty. True. The WI celebrate their 100th birthday today. We're live to one of the many celebrations up and down the country to say good morning to Alice Beer and the ladies of the uh, Gar Baldisham WI in <laughs> Norfolk. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. We've got a whole village hall full of opinions on how to make the perfect toasty. They are not backwards and coming forwards at the WI. It's official. Lynn says butter the outside of the bread as well as the inside. Gives it a little bit of crispiness. Uh, Elaine says shove a bit of banana in there. And Bobby, who's the president of the WI here, she knows. She gets the final word. What did you say, Bobby? You can use anything you like. Try everything you like. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'll tell you later, she can't bake. She's in the WI. <laughs> oh, you can't say that. I know I promise, but I lied. <laughs> Thank you very well much. Done. So there might be a hundred-year-old institution, but institution, but today they are putting a modern twist on their celebrations. A team of WI members at their London headquarters are stitching the first hundred tweets that contain their centenary hashtag onto a commemorative wall hanging. So we thought we'd get in there first. Do you so, reckon it's, I, I reckon they'll probably, you know, you don't be tweeting anything naughty to them because they won't be stitching those onto anything. No, good gracious, no. So, so what happy are you birthday, doing here? WI, and then I'm just going to put the hashtag in, which is... What uh, is it again? The, and then... WI. WI, and then it's underscore... 100 years. Yeah. So basically, once they've finished their, their stitch, they'll send us the picture back, so we'll keep you updated once they have tweeted Sent it to it. us. Very good. There we go. So, uh, so that's gone, and um, we'll keep an, Look keep forward an eye to on seeing that. that. Yeah. Right, here's what else we've got coming up today. Up next, with Jeremy Corbyn refusing to sing the national anthem at the Battle of Britain's memorial services today, we're asking, was it personal choice, or was it disrespectful to the Queen and our fallen heroes? And in the last of her special reports for us, Les Leslie Ash meets the woman left unable to close her eyes after a cosmetic procedure went dramatically wrong. Would you leave your loved ones behind to fight some of the world's most deadly terrorists? Later we'll be asking what motivated a British man to travel to Syria and fight against ISIS. And the excitement's building as we await the final series of Downton Abbey this Sunday. Find out what happened when Philip was given access all areas behind the scenes.